Also wanted to show you while I uh, had the video camera out this evening. This is my 1960s Marks Big Bruiser tow truck that I got from my friend Andy. Thank you very much, Andy. Uh, let's see here. Uh, you can do a YouTube search on here to find what the original ones look like. They made two versions. The earlier version had a white cab and the same white bed. The later version, from what I can figure out, had the red cab with the white bed on it. Uh, it was in pretty bad shape when I got it. Well, not bad. It was in pretty decent shape. A lot of the stuff was missing or whatnot. Plastics warped, you know, a little bit. Uh, I took all of the original stuff out of it. I don't have it apart now, so I can't show you. But I took all of the original stuff out of it. And I mounted a set of axial axles, uh, a transfer case, which is an axial transmission, 2.6 to 1 gear ratio. And there is an actual Traxxas Stampede transmission in the back of it which has a 2.72 to 1 ratio, I do believe. So it slows it down just a little bit, multiplies the torque by a little bit to help move it. It is kind of a heavy vehicle. Uh, there is no suspension. You are seeing that correctly. Uh, the actual links are just to help keep the axles from twisting themselves off of there, kind of really to hold them just in place. Uh, the servo for the front is actually mounted up in the chassis and just the actual servo arm sticks out to steer the wheels. I uh, have a 55 turn Novak crawler motor in it and the Novak rooster, cr rooster crawler speed control I do believe also in there. Uh, it's really slow, it's really loud but it doesn't tip over <laughs> and it pretty much goes anywhere so I've had a lot of fun with it uh, I actually found a second one on eBay and got it shipped to my hobby shop Mid-South Hobbies uh, took it apart for parts that I needed for it the boom which I've had a lot of people look at me funny for the original boom is plastic and very brittle and pretty much crap if you're actually gonna decide to try to use it. I remade the boom so to speak and actually made it longer and extend from the truck further made it out of brass tubing. What you're seeing there as just a mock-up is a dog collar so keep the uh, keep the hateful comments to a minimum please and thank you that's not gonna be the actual chain that I'm gonna use I just wanted to put something on there to get an idea of what it'll look like. Uh, one day it may function. It may not for now. It's just kind of fun to have it on there. So Hopefully I'll get some video uh, this Sunday of some of my trucks moving. We're supposed to have some sort of get-together. Go climbing on the hill by the hobby shop. So hopefully I can get a shot of some of them running. The slit right here is actually even though it's real dark and you can't see it I'm touching the spur gear on the Traxxas transmission right now that's where it actually is and that's how much I had to notch it out just to make the thing fit right uh, I did make an access panel which I know is kinda hard to see let me flip that around for you if I can and there we go access panel <coughs> got my battery leads coming out that way I can charge it do all that stuff hook the battery up I don't have to pull the body off anymore probably drive it for about half an hour or longer <laughs> depending on what size battery I put in it usually I run a six cell sometimes I have a seven cell in it and that's about it one day hopefully I'll get it painted thanks for watching